Dakota here again, Old Pecan Homestead. If you're watching this, you're watching the second part of the build on this utility trailer um, from a pop-up trailer frame. And today I'm going to be, I, I decided to go with like a, like a railed uh, utility trailer style on it because I, with the torsion axle, you're probably looking at about a, you know, a safe, capacity of about 3,000 pounds you could probably get more these are I did put 10 ply tires on it dogs are barking at one of the pigs over there but um I did put 10 ply tires but still they're like 10 inch wheel 10 ply tires the so you're still limited so it's about 3,000 pounds I think a guy could safely work haul not not worry about overloading anything but um, on my other trailer, we've, you know, it's got a 3,500 pound axle and it had six ply tires and we've, we've probably had 4,000, 5,000 pounds of rock on it. Um, you know, several other things we've done over the years. So a guy can really go beyond those things as long as it's not like a, you know, regular thing and you take your time. I think when she was pulling that rock home, she pulled it at, you know, maybe maybe 45 miles an hour or something like that you know just in case the tire blew out or something like that but and the axle didn't suffer any uh permanent damage the bearings probably need to be repacked on it but i've probably been needing that for a couple years now um but anyways let me show you where we're at on this thing and what i've got to do and not much to explain on this so on the walk around i'll explain what i'm going to be doing and then probably just do a time lapse on putting some things on it and try to keep it short for you. Okay, so one thing, it won't be in this video, but it'll be something to come back to watch, is I'm going to be, these are surge brakes, I've explained that in the last video, I think, but um, I'm going to be taking off the master cylinder and all this stuff and and just welding this hitch up so that it's solid and doesn't try to move anymore but one thing i've still got to do yet is put this extra bracing like i did right right there just so that if for some reason this board wants to bow or something it can't just fall out the bottom right here and i'll be welding a piece of angle across right there that'll be permanent and this end will be where a guy could i'm, I'm going to try to I think what I'm going to try to do is bolt up a piece of angle iron to hold the boards in. So that way if a guy wanted to replace boards he could. But, um, and you can see I've, I've got a few marks right here. This this was an old mark, but that, that little bit darker one's new. What I did was, I'm going to be taking this angle iron and welding it on like, like so. Like this so basically these marks are the center of the angle iron and the way my head works in math I, I have to kind of trial and error uh, figure out where my centers are going to be to keep them evenly spaced and I figured you know inch and a half in from from here to here is an inch and a half so I measured an inch and a half right there and that'll be my first one so I figured I started out, I was off a little bit, and I was ended up a little long on that one, so that gap would have been pretty large. So, I went back and just shifted over. I did my calculations at that point, and then just shifted it over. So, what I've got is 17 inches from center to center. And to keep it simple, this one would have been like 17. This one between here and here is like 17 and... A quarter but I wasn't trying to get that specific um, I haven't even measured the back yet but I'll do the same thing sorry for the mess been working on cleaning up some of the shop and just threw out the cats from the armada out here I gotta figure out how to scrap them no clue how to do that without going to jail Think, thinking I stole them or something but so same thing I think I'll get I may just make these a little wider and only put three in the back here, but 
well actually that might that might work out just right well i've still got to measure it but basically i'm going to go all the way around this i already know inch and a half over and then 17 17 17 and then inch and a half from there will be my marks and then i'm going to be cutting out a bunch of these however many i need i'm going to cut them all out in advance so that they're ready and i'm going to come around here i'm going to line them up square them tack them on all the way around once i get all that tacked on then all i got to do is come around and lay the top rail on and i'll just take you over here and show you on on this trailer the way i did it it'll be real similar to this and that gives you that gives you a lot of um, places to tie off you can tie off here you can tie off right here you know there's just a ton of ways to tie off when you build rails like this and mine are going to be a little shorter uh, on this build because of the way the fenders are I decided basically I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, figure out my calculations to where that two inch angle lays it should lay right here just right across the top of this and I'll just put a couple tacks right here probably three tacks and uh, that rail will sit right here come right off this fender it'll actually look, I think it'll look pretty slick when I'm done with it but that's where I'm at right now and see if I can't get you just a little bit of footage of me cutting these pieces out and then uh, like I said it'll probably be a time lapse because there's really not much to explain uh, and then I'll bring you back around and show you when it's all all tidied up and then probably the next thing will be the next video will probably be building the ramp and then once the ramps built all I got to do is put lights paint it and decking on it See if we can get this done. All right, so I determined 13 and a half inches will uh, be just right for trimming in those fenders, so that's what we're going to go with. And I've got a couple of them cut right over there. And I'm going to cut two more. I got to cut 19. I'm going to have three, three of them in the front right here. Three. On the little back sections behind the fenders and it'll be five on the front section so let's get started All right, so I was trying to get a video of myself getting these um, rail bracings put on here and squared up and tacked on, but my phone ran out of storage. I got like one on, and this is what it looks like right now. I just this piece right here, I just kind of put on there to make sure they were all flush. I was gonna weld up good, but that's what it looks like right now. Sort of the idea of what I'm going with. And then if you come down here, it's going to sit across this fender like so. And then I'll just put a couple of couple of welds down the back of that and it'll be attached to the fender. So you'll be able to throw anything you want at that thing. So I'm going to pull this trailer out here a little further and I'm going to get the back three of these rails put on and let Shaylee get a video of that. I'll probably just throw the rest of them together and then get you a walk around on it because it's kind of self-explanatory. Just kind of let you see the project come together. Uh, now that 
that I got is out here where I can work on it again. Right here. Oh! You do. Why'd you just slap me in the face with that cord? Ow! <laughs> Come out here to help you and you're beating me. You gotta watch out. <laughs> Jeez. hard by yourself. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my wire feed because I ran out of my big spool as you seen in the first video and I had some small spools that the kids decided to get into and make projects with so I had to re-spool it so the wire kind of binds and causes an intermittent feeding issue with the welder but my welding wire is pretty pricey so I need to run out of this roll before I go buy another one. I think on this back one where the gate's going to be, I'm just going to go like that. I can't see a problem with that.
Alright, now let me get a 12 foot piece and see what it looks like sitting on there. Looks like I made the little upright pieces just a slightly bit tall, but just based off of where the fender was, I wanted it to sit perfect, but a little bit high right here. But overall, not bad. I can I can just uh, push down on this and pick up on it and get it closed up enough to get it together or just leave it not touching. starting to come together decided to go with a little utility trailer build on it and I think I think that wasn't a bad idea still a lot of little stuff to do but pretty square in actuality all the squaring issues that I even ever that I ran into with this had to do with how sloppy, jalopy they put together that uh, camper frame, which those things are not really made by skilled workers, just somebody who knows how to put a pattern together after doing it 500 times. And the name of the game is to get as many of them out as they can, but there's those fenders. Pretty proud of the fenders.